Ah, uh, it's time for another math easy solution. Now, I'm going to discuss a pretty interesting video, and that's going to go look at the hyperbolic trigonometric identity cosh x plus y and go over the proof on it. So let's just jump right in. But before that, I want to make a note. I had made an earlier video several years back on the proof for cosh x plus y, but in that proof, I simply worked backwards proving that the identity was correct. So I looked at the identity and then I just proved they were both equal. But in this video, I will derive the, the identity from start to finish, as opposed to before I looked at the answer and then go backwards. Yeah, just because I think this would be a uh, better proof. So let's jump right in. So first thing I want to do is we'll recall the definition of cosh or hyperbolic cosine as well as let's put it over here, uh, as well as for sine, hyperbolic sine or, or cinch. So we have, I'll write this as theta. So cosh theta equals to e to the theta plus e to the negative theta by definition divided by two like that. And also for cinch, the only difference or hyperbolic sine is going to be e to the theta minus e to the negative theta over 2. Yeah, so now the idea basically is going to look at this cosh x plus y and then try to write it in terms of cosh and cinch, but then uh, remove that ad addition inside the x plus y. So we'll just have cosh x, cosh y, and cinch x, cinch y, etc. So let's use our uh, cosh x plus y. So a cosh x plus y in our case is going to equal to, using that definition, e to the x plus y. So instead of theta, that's going to be x plus y, plus e to the negative, and then x plus y, like that, all divided by 2. And then you could just expand this. This becomes e to the x times e to the y, just using the exponent laws. You can learn more in my earlier videos on exponents. Put that in the video description below. And this is going to be e to the negative x, and then negative goes in there as well, e to the negative y all over 2. And the reason I'm expanding it is because, well, when we expand it, what we'll notice is, look what we have. You have an e to the x times e to the y. And look at uh, this cosh and cinch. It basically, if we can multiply these, uh, these or a uh, variation of these, we can get an exponent times another exponent. That's what we have. So this, this brings to mind, well, the note, what we want, what we think we, yeah, what I think is, um, yeah, a good way to uh, get the identity in terms of cosine, uh, hyperbolic cosine and hyperbolic sine is by, well, multiplying uh, each other. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just put a bracket like this. And let's say we want this over here, e to, the, e to the x times e to the y. So if we want e to the x, e to the y over here, so what we're going to do is, if we want the top part, what we'll do is multiply yeah, each other. So we want an e to the x here and also an e to the y somewhere here as well. So we want something like this where we're multiplying each other yeah, like this. So e to the x, when you use the FOIL method, multiply by this, we'll get an e to the y. But then here we also have an e to the negative x and e to the negative y. So what I'll do is, I'll, let's just put a plus here, e to, the negative, um, e to the negative x, and then plus e to the negative y, and keep the y's and x's on, its, on the same side. Just like over here, we can have the same one here. If this is x, that's y, for example. So when we have this, we're going to have a term inside here, e to the, e to the negative x and e to the negative y. Well, we can, when you multiply that, we'll get this one. But before that, we could just use the FOIL method on the rest of these. So this times this we already have. This times this is going to be plus e to the uh, x and negative y. Actually, whoops, it's uh, e to the x times e to the negative y. And then, uh, and then now we can FOIL out this side. This times this is going to be, well, plus e to the negative x times e to the, e to the y, positive. And then we can finally have this one over here, plus e to the negative x times e to the negative y. And now we have this term. So we have this term and we have this term. And so that we can have something like this, but we want to cancel these out. So want to cancel. Well, here I quickly just change the wording. So want this canceled. So we want to remove that. Well, what we could do is we can do the same thing here, but changes to negative so that we will have minus and minus. But these are going to remain the same when you guys are going to have a minus times minus becomes positive. And then we can subtract those. So what I'll do is I'll write this as 1. And then I'll write a second, uh, a second multiplication like this. Uh, where we have e to the x negative, or minus e to the negative x, like that. 
and then times it by e to the y uh, minus e to the negative y, and then when we multiply this side, we get again e to the x times e to the y, and then, then this one, so e to the x times e to the y, and this by this, e to the, it's gonna be negative there, so negative e to the, um, yeah, this is gonna be e to the x times e to the negative y, and then we have this times this, it's gonna be negative, e to the negative x times e to the y, and then this times this is going to be the negatives cancel, so we have an e to the negative x times e to the negative y, so now we have this term and this term, and then we have this term right here, These are the, this is the exact same as this one, e to the x, uh, e to the y, and negative y, and e to the negative x, e to the y, but this is negative, so if we combine these, we can cancel these, yeah, so what we have is basically, so thus, when we do, what we'll do is one plus two, so add these two terms together. What we'll end up getting is, well, this is the same as this one, so this equals to two times e to the x times e to the y, like that, and then these cancel, so then we'll have plus this one right here, and these are two terms like that, and that's gonna be e to the, or two, times e to the negative x times e to the negative y. Yeah, so thus we have, this is actually a fascinating outcome there, because now look at this one, we have e to the x and then uh, e to the y, but that's just one of them, so all we have to do is multiply 2 over 2 to get that. So thus, what we'll do is, uh, I'll write thus again, cosh, right here, cosh x plus y equals to, and I'll multiply this by, uh, by 2 and divide by 2, so I'll write here, times it by two over two. So then what we end up getting is we'll put this arrow like that, and then once we do that, put the arrow back down. So now we have a two e to the x times e to the y plus two e to the negative x times e to the negative y all over. Uh, this is gonna be four, two times, yeah, two times two is four. So two over two doesn't change anything, and we get that over here like that. Yeah, so thus what we get is, well, this just equals to one plus two over there. So this is actually a fascinating result. This means uh, this whole thing on top becomes this, which equals to, I'll just put this in a circle, one plus two, like that, over four. And this equals to, let's just put this out over, so e to the x plus e to the negative x, and other ones are just negative, and this one's y's on there and positive. So we have now e to the x, plus e to the negative x times it by e to the yeah, e to the y and here this is uh, I'll just put this on this side again this is a 1 plus 2 so we have a I'll divide this out by 2 so we have a 1 yeah, a 1 over 4 plus a 2 over 4 and this will start making sense and now we have a e to the y this is plus e to the negative y like that and this is divided by 4 this is a w one term but I'm going to divide that out again 2 and then 2 like that because this is basically our uh, sin oh, this is a cosine hyperbolic cosine that's e to the x that's a positive e to the x and then e to the negative one that's cosine hyperbolic cosine or cosh uh, yeah, cost function right there. And now we have a plus, and I'll move this actually to the left so we have some space like this, equals to now the second one is going to be e to the uh, x minus e to the negative x, and divided by two times it by e to the y minus e to the negative y, like this, all divided by two. Like that. So this is just the uh, negative side of that, e to the x minus e to the negative x, and that is just our hyperbolic, uh, hyperbolic sine function. So notice what we end up having is finally we get cosh of x plus y equals 2. That is going to be cosh of x times by cosh of y, and then plus, now we have cinch of x times it by cinch of y. And there is our identity going from start to finish. In my earlier video, I went from here and worked backwards, which is easier. But this one is, uh, uh, you have to think a bit differently and think before what you end up wanting. And that is wanting functions in terms of cosh and cinch. Anyways, that's all for today. I hope you learned from this. 
pretty interesting proof video for hyperbolic trigonometric identities. I'll be going over some more of these in later videos, so stay tuned for that. It was, uh, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. And, yeah, and you can download these exact notes in the link below, as well as viewing these notes on Steemit. Also, check out my math forums and start posting whatever cool science or math stuff you want. Anyways, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for another math easy solution.